Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about skin retouching for video, specifically in Final Cut Pro using a plugin called Beautybox. Now, you can certainly do skin retouching for video. Usually, it requires an application like Adobe After Effects. Final Cut Pro doesn't really give you the tools to do it well. It usually involves rotoscoping and a lot of masking and going frame by frame you know, with those masks. And Final Cut Pro is just really, it's set up to be an editor, it's not really a compositor, and so for effects work like that, it really doesn't work out very well, unless you have a plugin like Beautybox. So let's take a look at what Beautybox does for you. Uh, we can go over to our effects menu here and grab Beautybox from the Digital Anarchy folder and just drag that onto our clip. And you'll see that the controls for Beautybox show up in the Filters tab of the Viewer window. And you can see all the different controls that we have here. And the really nice thing about Beautybox is that it does a lot of the work for you. The first thing that you want to do is come down and click on Analyze Frame. Now, it uses face detection to figure out what the skin tones are. So you want to make sure that the face is pretty much facing towards the camera. If you have sort of a three-quarter view, sometimes the face detection has problems. But if it's a profile or if the talent is facing the camera, then it works really well. And so we'll just go ahead and click on Analyze Frame. And you'll notice when I do this, the colors up here will change. So we'll click Analyze Frame. You'll see that it's selected the skin tones of her face and has automatically applied Beauty Box to that. Now the great thing about this is that as long as your lighting doesn't change, like for example, if your subject moves from indoors to outdoors or something like that, but if it's, you know, especially if it's an interview like this, and your, the lighting is going to be the same, the skin tones are going to be the same throughout the entire clip, this is pretty much all you have to do. Because what's going to, what Beautybox is going to do is look at these colors and identify that throughout the entire clip. So once you set this up to render, it's going to track those colors, it's going to track where they are in the video clip, and apply the smoothing just to those areas. So it's a very fast and effective way of doing skin retouching. And really, it's the only way of doing it within Final Cut Pro. At least using a plugin is the only way of really doing it. You can sort of muck around with some of the, the masking tools in Final Cut, but they're really not that robust. And for going frame by frame, doing rotoscoping, which is really what you need to do traditionally, which is a very time-consuming task. And that's one of the other great things about Beautybox is that you know, there is a little bit of a render time, but it's nowhere near the amount. So you can download a demo of this plugin at www.digitalanarchy.com. It's a free trial, and that'll let you play around with your own footage. You can even download this video clip and see how it works on it. Uh, if you want to keep some of the skin detail, for example, like skin pores, usually this is more of an issue with photos where people are just looking at a single image. For video, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, and the skin detail amount, if you really crank it up, will slow the plugin down a little bit. So I usually keep that fairly low for video. And so if we go ahead and go to 100%, we can see what the difference is between having Beautybox on and off. And actually, let me zoom in just a little bit here. So you can sort of see what is going on. Part of the problem with these video tutorials is that uh, YouTube and Vimeo tend to compress them a bit, so I don't know if you're going to see all the fine detail that I'm seeing on my screen, but we'll give it a shot. So I'll turn Beauty Box off, and you can see that there's a lot more just in terms of blemishes and these fine wrinkles. If I turn Beauty Box back on, a lot of that goes away, and you get much smoother skin, you get much you know, what we're trying to do with Beauty Box is really take off five or ten years. You're not going to take a 75-year-old woman and turn her into a 30-year-old. But you may take someone that's, you know, 55 and make them look like they're 45 or 40. Just making them a little bit better, kind of applying a layer of digital makeup. And we'll zoom back out. And so we don't want the people to look fake. We don't want it to be obvious that there's retouching applied. But we want to make them look a little bit better, and that's what Beauty Box does. And so you can see it's a very easy way of accomplishing this type of process. So now we can go ahead and just render, and it's going to keep those settings all the way throughout the clip and make it very simple and very fast for us to do 
some basic skin retouching right within Final Cut Pro. Now, of course, there's other ways to do this. If you have, for example, I noted that it uses face detection to identify the skin tones. If you don't have a face, if you have something like a pair of hands, then there are other ways to select the skin tones. You can see our mode here. You can set the color. You can add colors. We can view what our mask looks like. And you can see that it's done a really nice job of just picking up the skin tones. It is picking up a little bit in the hair, but you'll notice that there's a lot of edge detail here, so you're really not going to see the problem in the hair. But you can come down here to our hue, saturation, and value ranges. If you want to try and dial that in just a little bit more, we can reduce these values. And you can see that it's starting to select just the skin areas. And like I mentioned, we can also go ahead and add a color. So if we want to add the neck area down here, we can just click on the thumbnail view and add in the neck area. So it's a very powerful plugin. And you can certainly come in and make a lot of adjustments if you need to. But the basic steps is just to let Beautybox analyze the frame, identify the skin tones, and as long as your lighting stays the same, that's pretty much all you have to do, other than come back up here to your smoothing controls and dial in exactly how much smoothing you want to have and exactly what look you're going for. But once you do that, Beautybox will track those skin tones all the way throughout the video clip, and you'll be good to go. So you can download a demo of this plugin at www.digitalanarchy.com. It's a free trial, and that'll let you play around with your own footage. You can even download this video clip and see how it works on it. And you can give it a try before you buy it and see if uh, I'm speaking the truth. Because you know how demos go. Demos are always, they always look great, but they sometimes they don't always work out. But uh, I think if you download Beauty Box, you'll be pretty impressed by what it does. So give it a try, www.digitalanarchy.com, and thank you for joining me.